Today is day 251 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are actually going to be previewing the project, the side project that we've been trying to address for the last like week and a half, two weeks now. Uh, this is a side project submitted to us by one of uh, our viewers, which is Tenacious Raptor. He was very gracious in assisting with setting this project up for us. So we've been meaning to try and find time. We aren't actually going to do a full deep dive and kick off the project. I've been trying to juggle scheduling and give it a launch that it deserves, uh, but I've been dying to get into the project. I don't have tons of time to stream tonight, but I at least want to preview what the actual project will be. So we can at least do that. It'll probably, fingers crossed, actually be a shorter stream tonight. Not, not our traditional, oh, we've got 20 minutes to stream and two and a half hours later, I'm, I'm still struggling at Free Code Camp or Code Wars. Uh, this should actually be anywhere from 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes tops. Uh, but really, we're just going to kind of scan through the initial project. He's added a lot of comments to the couple things he's provided us with. And we'll just sort of scope it out uh, and we'll, we'll reflect on what's to come. So, let me track down those files. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Under downloads project. So first thing is first, we've got index HTML. So that will end up being our home page for one thing. We've got JavaScript, which is our JSON sender file. And actually, some of those are already open. Let's do... I think... Yeah, there's that and that. So we've got the JSON sender file, and then we also have... I had cracked it open before. We also have message handler. Which will be that. Somehow that's tied to it. And... We've got our server process message request for PHP. All right. Let's bump that shut. So here we've got our home page. We have our send message form. And we've got uh, JavaScript and some PHP. Now, the last component that I'll need to actually add to this is uh, SQL, and Tenacious assisted me to, uh, assisted me with finding a good tool application uh, to accommodate that, and we attempted to get WAMP but that only works on Windows computers. I'm, I'm on the Mac side of the universe, so we ended up downloading MAMP instead. Uh, I need to do more. I'll need to tie that into my whole setup that I've got here between Chrome and Atom and uh, tie in the MAMP window into OBS for the next stream. Fingers crossed we'll actually be able to dive into the project tomorrow. But in the meantime, what does the project hold for us in the future? We've got, looking at the JSON stuff, input fields. So he's gone through and has added a bunch of comments to help guide us through to minimize the confusion and the potential for us to set all of the internet on fire. So that's extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. Uh, from the top, inputs will be message title string, message body, which will also be a string, and then callback function outputs. 
We're going to have function, send JSON, message title, message body, and callback. Create a new AJAX request. Variable new request, new XML HTTPS request to do insert data into the JSON.stringify function so that we may have our inputted data be present in this request. Hint new string data. Look at that. He even gave us hints. So cool. What a rock star. Tenacious. Good egg. Uh, variable extra URI component encode URI component json.stringify message title will be, we put data here cool message body put more data here very nice this is Steven proof at least we think it is so far watch watch me prove you all wrong uh, to do we'll, we'll find a way to mess this up Update address location on server or virtual server. That's back to the, the WAMP or MAMP uh, that we'll need to be implementing. <clears throat> uh, that the backend resource is located at with the query item message. See example. Don't mind me. Just a moment. Alright, crisis mostly averted. Back into action. Hey there, tiny cat. Look at you. Oh, you come to see what the project's all about? Yeah, you did. Alright. So, what are we looking for? Uh, virtual server. What are we doing uh, to do? Update. Address location on the virtual server on the server or virtual server that the backend resource is located at with the query item message. See example below. Variable based add r HTTP localhost web server web service projects server process manage request dot php message craft URL for HTTP get verbal request variable craft URL equals base ADR plus extra URIC com uh, URI component. Hmm. 
open connection to the get request and send the packet. New request open, get, craft URL, true. New request, set request header, content type, application JSON. This is so awesome. I love all the comments. Event handler to wait for any state change since this is asynchronous. We cannot return anything. New request, on ready state change function. After we get a positive response from the server, we may proceed. If new request ready state is equivalent to 4 and new request status equals 200, to do. Find out how to parse out. Ooh, finding out. Okay, well, that'll probably be a roadblock. Find out how to parse out the data returned by a resource we called in Tiny Cat. I don't want you to ruin this project, so there you go. Uh, find out how to parse out the data returned by the resource we called in JSON format. So we are expecting a JSON return object. Variable value. Okay, so that's that's what we're going to be prepping. And then a return callback for value. All right. As we get towards the bottom of this first portion, then we've got our, our second PHP doc, but towards the bottom of the JavaScript, We've got send our new request to the server and await response. New request dot send. Callback function will do, of course, my webcam is in the way. Callback function will do all the work needed on origin caller with data that has been given from the send JSON function. Function return value data to do change the text box multi-line in the original page by using jQuery selector object to modify the value of the text box. Okay. We return to let the function know we are done. Return data. It gets to rest. Uh, let's check out the PHP at the bottom of this. We will be able to and the stream so i don't know probably like five six minutes of reading through this nonsense and then we will be clear not nonsense instructions we we all know what i mean uh this is spectacular again kudos and a huge huge thank you to tenacious raptor for hooking us up with this project uh expecting two inputs all right one is the message title. Two is the message body. Output, one. JSON object return via an echo, which with a get request will send a request back to the caller with a 200 status code inside the header of response packet. Set the content type of this file to JSON. Header content type application JSON decode JSON. If present in get request, send here message json code strips lashes get message it strips oh strip slashes i'm an idiot this is why despite all of the comments i'm still gonna this up but that's okay we knew this was gonna happen strip slashes blithering idiot get message data is now within the following array parsed json attribute array message title messages message title and message body will be messages to message body process status flags to ultimately decide on what to do with further in code to return simple integers as status codes. Valid flag is one, title empty is one, body empty also equals one, Re result text is an empty string, length of text will be one, created will equal one. Check if title and body are not empty. If JSON attribute message title 
is equivalent to empty, or JSON attribute message title is equivalent to null, valid flag should equal zero, and title empty should equal zero. If JSON attribute message body is empty, or JSON attribute message body is equal to null, valid flag should equal zero, and body empty should also be equal to zero. If everything is okay, then proceed. If valid flag equals one, to do fill out data where appropriate so that the connection works. Server name, this is back to the WAMP thing that I'll need to set up, and I have no idea how to use WAMP, but they've got a tutorial wizard when you first open it. Uh, I immediately closed out of it, so hopefully that wizard comes back, but anyways, I, I think I should be able to piece together at least these couple things. Um, but set up server name, username, and password, and database name. So that'll be all the fun SQL stuff, um, at least tying it to the, the SQL portion in MAMP. Um, make connection, MySQL I connect server name, username, password, and database, all this good stuff. To do, insert the message title parsed from above and the message body into the values section as well as fill out the table name and parameters after insert into with your table name example low. Okay. Almost done. We got a few more minutes of fun and we are out of here about halfway through the PHP stuff. Query to insert. Insert into message title, uh, messages, title and message. Values. I guess the periods are concatenating, I think. I'm not sure. Values, put title here, dots and quotes, put body here, dots, quotes, and spaces. Attempt insert, make connection, query, query to insert. If above executes without a problem, then this will be executed. Else will be skipped, and thus we know our query is wrong. Okay, created equal one to do. Update return text variable with values parsed from get request. Result text, title, put title here, body, put body here. Close my SQL connection, so make connection will be close. Define the returnable variables as a new object so that we may add it like an object, return object new st D class package data to be sent back to the client in JSON format and then echo to screen as response. Return object is process valid flag, return object title status, title empty, return object inserted created, return object formatted text, result text, uh, return object JSON encode, return object echo return object. Cool. And lastly, do the same as above, but add ER, uh, ERR text to greater signify and issue, uh, an issue has occurred. This can be avoided and deleted if we just use valid flag variable to parse logic from caller. Way cool. So else return object new, std class, created equals zero, return is process valid flag, return title status, title empty, uh, return inserted created, return formatted text, ERR, return object JSON encode, return object echo, return object, all right. Well, way cool. So yet again, we've got something about the home page. I think that's what will be returned after we enter stuff here. We've got all of our JSON stuff that we get to go through, connect the dots, uh, as well as all of our PHP stuff that we get to go through and connect the dots as well. I'll need to set up MAMP um, to be able to finish and actually do this project, but that is what's to come, I think, tomorrow. 
um, maybe it may be another day, but fingers crossed we can we can tackle finally tackle this project tomorrow. So that's all for now. Let's go ahead and back out of tonight's brief stream. Thank you again for anyone and everyone who stopped by to view the stream. Any and all views are greatly, greatly appreciated. Day 251 comes to an end. Just a quick preview of the project, the task at hand, and what's to come tomorrow or in the very near future. The adventure continues tomorrow regardless uh, with day 252 of the year of streaming and learning to code. In the meantime, we are stopping the stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it.